Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So I'm here with another Cult Beauty Edit unboxing. I love me some Cult Beauty edits. So if you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Cult Beauty, the body edit. I bought it myself, sadly. I generally buy most things myself. I get sent occasional things, but a lot of stuff I actually buy myself because I'm a bit of a beauty junkie to say the least. So today we're gonna to unbox it. It is worth 165 pounds. It's on sale now for 45 pounds and I will drop a link underneath if you do want to pick it up. So as usual with the edits, this is just like a little slip cover. So if we slide this off underneath, you've got a pretty well made box. It's just a plain black box. Uh, quite useful for storing stuff in though, or like putting gifts together for people and stuff. And it obviously makes a nice gift too. So in the video, we're gonna have a look at everything inside. I'm gonna tell you what it is, what it does. We'll test out some of the products and I'll tell you how much each individual item is worth. And hopefully that will help you to decide whether this is an edit you wanna pick up. So take off the lid. I've got a few bits and bobs in here. So the first one I have used in the shower this morning, so I can kind of report back and I'll show you the texture and stuff of it. It's by Coco and Eve, and it's the Smoothie Shower Gel. It's quite a big bottle, as you can see. So it's a full size, which is 300 mil or 10.1 fluid ounce. And the scent on this is lychee and dragon fruit. So I think they do a couple of different scents, but this is the one we've got here. For me, this smells like cheap sweets. When you're a child and you get like those kind of cheap, not Haribo sweets, if you get my drift, that's kind of what it smells like. It's not a bad thing, it just reminds me of it. Kind of nostalgic actually. So it's just in a little bottle like this and then you just like squeeze out the product. It's a very similar colour to the packaging. So you can just see it's that kind of light lilac -y colour. So this is what it looks like before the water. Add a bit of water and it kind of goes a little bit almost milky. A little bit. I don't know, I kind of felt like I needed quite a lot of this. So you can see it's got that slightly kind of milky texture to it, but it doesn't kind of lather up or anything. Really getting that kind of sweet scent, literally like sweets, like candy kind of scent. So it's nice. It does leave your skin soft. I do appreciate the fact that there's no like nasty kind of ingredients. So it's not got any sodium laurel sulfate in it or anything like that. Um, the second ingredient is actually aloe leaf juice after water. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in here. There's glycerin in here. So it is really moisturizing. I'm just not sold on the scent, but I, I like it. It's just not something I would buy for the scent, if that makes sense. So it's not that I'm not recommending it. It's just that actually this isn't my favorite scent. So it says cleanse and hydrate at first splash with super crisp coconut water formulated with prebiotics for healthier looking skin, softens and smooth skin, removing impurities and dirt, smell like paradise thanks to a lychee and dragon fruit scent. It's kind of each to their own, isn't it, with scents? It's a very personal thing. You might love it. Like I said, not my favourite, but it is a very nice product. As I said, full size, it retails at £17.90 on the Cult Beauty site. Next up, something a little bit different. So these are supplements. They're by Hum, and they are the Flatter Me, which is one of their more popular supplements, I must say. So it supposedly gives you a bit of a kind of flatter stomach or something. I'm gonna have to try these and report back. I have received them previously in another, either Cult Beauty goodie bag, because I unbox those as well, or in edit. I'm not sure which one I got it from. The only thing that stopped me from using them is that they have some amazing reviews where people say it really works. And then they have reviews where people have said it kind of gives them a little bit of an upset stomach, makes them feel not very nice. And I've kind of been looking for like a time when I don't have to do something specific. I don't have to go to work because I don't want to test them on a day when I might feel a bit rubbish, if that makes sense. Hopefully they will work and hopefully I'll be one of the people it works for, but that just makes me a little bit nervous. It says supports a flatter stomach and healthy digestion. It's got 18 full spectrum enzymes. We get 60 vegan capsules in here. You take two capsules a day, one before each of your two main meals or two of your main meals, which means this is a month's supply. So these retail at 27.25. So a month's supply should be enough for you to try it and see if it's working for you. If you've used them, do let me know. So carrying on with the full sizes, we've got a product by Mario Badescu. And this is the AHA Botanical Body Soap. It's 236 mil or eight fluid ounce. So Mario Badescu generally isn't a brand. I go for a lot of their ingredients that they use are a bit 
not great they use sls quite a lot which is not something i can use this has got sodium lauryl sulfate as the second ingredient but then they followed it up by glycerin kind of balances it out a bit but still wish they didn't use it in here so i'll be passing this on to a friend i won't be opening it and using it um but yeah i find this brand very hit and miss some of the products have been really good other ones i would not put anywhere near my skin just because those ingredients so it's it's a difficult one for me to kind of recommend so it's made in the usa it is like i said a full size it actually resells at 7.95 which is quite an affordable price point for an aha um body soap which might be why it's got those cheaper ingredients in there because if you use an alternative to sls it costs more and that's why a lot of companies don't do it now aha in body wash definitely recommend i really find it helps to sort of exfoliate it stops things like blocked pores if you get ingrown hairs anything of that nature and it's resurfacing the skin so it's kind of like treating your body like the skin on your face you're resurfacing it you're making it healthy glowy which of course we all kind of want especially when you're going into summer and you might be showing a little bit more of your skin so yeah that's that Next up, we've got a product from Espa. I definitely recommend a lot of Espa products. I unboxed their advent calendar in 2021. I'll put a card here if you want to see it. So I've used a lot of Espa products and they're just really, really good. So this is the Smooth and Firm Body Butter. It's a rich body moisturizer to smooth and tone and it's a 100 ml or 3.3 US fluid ounce size. This size is worth 29.44. So let's have a look at the texture of this. So it's got vitamin E and some really nice kind of ingredients in here. It says, a rich body butter to help nourish, smooth and tone, leaving skin feeling soft and supple. Hydrating larch and pumpkin seed extract help to smooth while rosehip, argan oil and vitamin E moisturise and nourish. So this is what it looks like. So it's quite a thick body cream. It will eventually kind of sink in, but it does require that little bit of work in. But it does leave you with a bit of a glow so it's a nice one to kind of apply to your legs before a night out or a day out doesn't have a massive scent it's almost got a hint of citrus almost smells to me a little bit like an orange extract kind of like what you'd get in a chocolate orange but just the orange part of it, it smells very nice so yeah feels nice makes your skin soft and not sort of sticky or tacky or anything really really nice one so i'm happy to see that in there next up something new so brand new brand to cult beauty or fairly new they've not had it for very long wasn't a brand i was familiar with i always do a bit of research before i buy the boxes and before i do these videos and i couldn't find that much out about this because when this box first launched they didn't actually stock this particular product they stopped the brand but not this particular product anyway long story short this product is now available on their website and it retails at 30 pounds so i'm really happy to see it in the box the box was 45 obviously way way more in value this is the sort of product i'm actually really interested in so it says ingrown hair exfoliator that's what it is the scent is fresh coconut which is definitely a scent i love i love coconut scent and it's by a brand called do doc which is swedish intimate skincare so a lot of it is done for like your bikini line intimate areas that kind of thing but this i'm planning on using sort of on my underarms and things so it's 40 ml or 1.4 fluid ounce full size it says exfoliates with natural lava stones developed with a gynecologist so you can use it in sort of intimate areas it says do docs team of women doctors have formulated an ingrown hair exfoliator specifically for delicate intimate skin to help minimize ingrown hair post shave wax or epilation finely crushed volcanic lava stones gently peel away dead skin cells thus allowing hair to penetrate the skin barrier more easily and help to reduce ingrowns with a formula rich in minerals and moisturizing ingredients like vitamin e skin is left soft and silky smooth the best results use in conjunction with the do doc intimate shaving trio yes of course always a good idea to buy the entire range so it is sealed as you'd expect i'm going to get into it and then i can kind of show it to you my hands are a bit slippy now i've had that uh, body moisturizer on so i'm actually going through um a course of laser hair removal at the moment so you do have to kind of be careful to make sure you're exfoliating the skin so you're not getting like ingrown hairs or anything like that so i'm using a lot of kind of exfoliation products um a lot on a lot of my body obviously the places i'm having lasered so this will be a really nice addition so i'm really kind of looking forward to using it and strangely enough this is one of the items in here that made me kind of want to get the box it was really hard work I think especially because I've got like that moisturizer and stuff on my hands, it's really made it tricky. Yep, smells like coconut. And something else, something kind of 
rocky, like a rock covered in coconut, which kind of makes sense because I think there is some vol the volcanic rock and stuff in there. So this is what it looks like and it obviously looks just like a deodorant. So you apply it on the skin, it's clear. Obviously this is one of those I'm going to have to try out and actually see how it works. So it's made in Sweden, it's 100% vegan and it does seem to get pretty good reviews from what I've seen. So it says to wet skin and step out of the shower spray, gently rub the stick on affected areas one day post hair removal. Rinse with lukewarm water, use two to three times a week thereafter for maintenance in between hair removal. Some temporary redness may occur, do not use prior to hair removal. Okay, so you have to kind of time it right. Good job I didn't rip all of the instructions off the back, eh? Next up, a couple more kind of exfoliation products. So we have got from Frank Body, who are very, very well known for their scrubs. They do a lot of other things now, but body scrubs is definitely where they started out. They use um, they use coffee grounds. I think they use like recycled coffee grounds or coffee grounds that have been used for coffee. They're left over if you like. So it's good for the environment and stuff. And this is the Cacao Coffee Scrub Exfoliator for Smooth Glowing Skin. 100 grams or 3.53 ounce. Imagine a world where you shower yourself in chocolate. So I've used this before. This does smell of chocolate. The only thing I would say is it does make a little bit of a mess of the shower so you kind of have to be aware of that because it has got coffee grounds and stuff in so you can imagine but the actual product itself is very very good this is a travel size version and it's worth 7.95 but yeah really good exfoliator and i find it quite moisturizing as well another exfoliator i was pleased to see in here and one i got in a goodie bag recently really really like it it is the kate somerville and it's the exfoliate resurfacing body scrub so Kate Somerville really kind of well known for the face scrub which is amazing so I was really excited when I saw they brought out a body version of it so it's another one that's got AHAs in so it helps to exfoliate um, the body another one that's really good after you've um, removed hair and stuff and just generally getting your skin in better condition so as with the facial scrub it's a funny green colour and it's got that kind of scrubby type texture to it but it's also got the chemical exfoliant in there which is the AHAs doesn't have a scent at all in fact nothing I'm picking up there but it is just a really nice exfoliator it's a nice size it's Peter approved cruelty free it's 15 mil or half of a fluid ounce but yeah really really nice product it is only a sample but it's enough to obviously do I'd say for me probably two full-on body exfoliations just to see if you like it because it's quite pricey in the full size I think it's around the 50 pound mark but a really good quality product so this is worth four pounds eighty last but not least we've got a product from Ilia Apothecary which I think I discovered from Liberty if I'm not mistaken it's like a real kind of luxe niche type brand this is the magnesium and amethyst deep relaxed bath soak this powerful mix combines to create a supportive and peaceful bath soak that leaves you feeling nurtured and calm it's a full size it's 400 grams which is 14.1 ounce it's worth 40 pounds so we're talking high-end bath salts here it says, a wonderfully relaxing oil known for its reassuring quality that helps calm an over-anxious or overthinking type of mind. That is definitely me. Ideal for anyone running on nervous tension who feels burnt out or exhausted. It's also got amethyst, which is restoring and rebalancing. And it says it helps to soothe inflamed skin while stimulating regeneration. Energetically believed to relax the nerves and help heal your aura, allowing it to restore and rebalance. Vegan, nut free, alcohol free. So I haven't used it before. Um, the first ingredient is magnesium chloride, not suitable for pregnancy, just due to, I think, the oils and things that are going on in there. It's not tested on animals, there's no petrochemicals. And yeah, it sounds like an interesting one. It gets pretty good reviews. And I personally wouldn't spend 40 pound on bath salts unless they are like life changing. So I'm very excited to use them. It feels like a real treat. So overall, I'm really happy with this edit. Obviously I knew I would be. I did a bit of research before I got it and I thought, yeah, this is ticking lots and lots of boxes for me. The only products I'm kind of not excited about is the Mario Badescu one, just because of the SLS and my kind of sensitivity to it. But yeah, all in all, I think it's a great gift and I'm actually quite surprised it hasn't sold out. So hopefully you found the video useful knowing how much each individual item is worth and what it does and kind of my thoughts and stuff. So hopefully it's been of use if you are thinking of picking up this gift. I have also got the new Cult Beauty Edit, which is the fragrance one, which is £20 and includes £20 uh, credit to spend on fragrance purchases and comes with lots of really decent sized products. Well, 
some more decent than others but it's a good buy i have posted about it on my community page and on instagram so if you're following me you've probably seen that but i am going to do a review it should be coming up in the next couple of days like i said i'll link this and everything else underneath if you are interested in picking up a bit of a beauty deal so there are some affiliated links under the video that means it doesn't cost you any extra to make a purchase it will probably save you money depending on which link you're clicking on but i may get a small commission for referring you so it doesn't cost you any extra but it does help to support the channel and i really appreciate all of your support if you've enjoyed this video consider subscribing and checking out the playlist with all of the cult beauty goodie bags and space nk ones and some other kind of high-end ones so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i'd love it if you give it a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing and i'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live thank you so much for watching bye guys